What's going on today everybody? So today we're actually working on the engine again. That's right, you guessed it. We're still continuing on with this. We have a we're still waiting on the rings to come in, but we'll get it most of the way put together and uh we'll go from there. With the bearings loaded in and everything cleaned up, the two sides, two case half sides cleaned up, it's time to start putting some silicone on. I'm using some ultra black and you wanna be careful not to get too close to the bearings or too close to the uh, oil passages. You don't wanna block any of those off. So we'll put some silicone on it, greasing up the main bearings and installing the crankshaft. The crankshaft has the connecting rods already on them and then we'll go ahead and grease up the other bearings so we have grease going all the way around, or oil rather, all the way around the crankshaft it's important to grease the sides of the thrust bearings as well. This is overlooked on a lot of builds and it will cause problems. Once you get everything greased and set and siliconed, it's time to install. Use a rubber mallet to tap on the outside edges. You don't want to tap on where the head is, but you just tap the outsides and get it set, it down, set down. Now we'll install the new washers with the gaskets on them and put a little oil on the thread so they'll torque down a lot easier. One trick is you can take two bolts and run the threads around each other so you get oil on both sides and on two bolts and all the way around. Once done with that, torque down. The first one was 7.4 foot-pounds and then 13.3 and then 26.4 on certain ones. You want to look up this diagram because it's different on a lot of different engines. Like mine I have to do inside the case is 90 degrees for the final turn. And the outside ones are 26.4 foot-pounds. So there's little variances on each little bolt and make sure you look up yours for your specific application. everything torqued down it's easiest to clean off the silicone when it's still wet or not completely dry because it will break off or just rub right off you want to clean out your your oil pump side and your main seal side so that both those seals will seal properly those are the two important parts the rest of it's mainly for aesthetics now that that's all done it's time to install the rings on the pistons Start on your bottom or your oil ring, but you want the oil passage ring. And then you, I went to the bottom oil ring, top oil ring. They both have little tabs that they sit in and make sure that they go on those tabs. It's kind of hard to get the oil rings, the top and bottom in because the passageway is rid. Once all the rings are installed and the gaps are in the right locations, you want to oil down everything each ring, in between each ring, the cylinder walls, even the compressor. You wanna make sure that there's enough oil to make sure that everything slides in there because it's not gonna be getting oil for a while. So you wanna make sure that it's in there nice and you just take the back of a hammer and tap that down once you get it into the compressor. It gets a little tough near the top, but just keep working at it. If you hang up on anything, it's best to stop, pull it out and do it again because if you're pushing too hard on those rings, they'll bend and break. You wanna make sure that those are perfectly round when you go to put them in, otherwise they're gonna scar your piston. This is the hardest part because you've got to line your piston up with your connecting rod and you can't really reach the connecting rod and you can kind of put the piston, or you can kind of put the wrist pin in, but the piston can be cockeyed a little bit so it won't go in straight. So you kind of gotta use the wrist pin to bend the piston around to line it up with the connecting rod. Once that's done, put a little oil on the top and then move on to the next one. You can move the crank by hand. Once you get a couple pistons in there, there's gonna be enough force to where you're gonna have to use a wrench. But just keep at it and get your next one in and go from there.
I did a horrible job filming, but here it is. Sometimes you just gotta get some work done and the filming kinda comes after. But we got one, two, three pistons in. I'm waiting on the fourth one so I can get the ring set in. But that's all put together. I know I didn't do a very good job filming this time. With this fourth piston that's coming in, I'm going to do a better. I'm going to make sure that I go through and show you guys how how to put these pistons in. And then you'll get a, a gist of everything else. Because there's four of them. They're all going to be the same. Uh, so we'll get the fourth piston. And I'll show you, go through a step by step on how I do everything all the way. From rings to compressing the rings, then putting the wrist pins in, and putting the uh, holders for the wrist pins in. And that'll be the next video. Cool, well that's going to do it for me today. Um, I got a lot of work done. We got the short block pretty well assembled. I'm going to start prepping things so we can get things painted. And I'm also going to start working on the heads. I've decided to port and polish those brand new heads that I have. So that's going to take a while. But it'll be worth it in the end, I think. So we'll get to that. Uh, this is pretty well put together. I can start slapping some more things on. And getting ready for final assembly for everything. But it's still a little bit ways, little ways out. Now that we got gotten everything buttoned up on this short block pretty well, we're still waiting on the one piston. That's all right. Uh, that's going to do it for me today. I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully we can get this done. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Peace!